Uh, hello, Tom. I'm David Eslake. I'm from Gulfstream Aerospace. And we here have been working with Delaware in North America since their start. Hello, I'm Tom Reuter from LC Glass. Uh, we became a Delaware client in the Netherlands in uh, last year, in 2022. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Well, for, for Gulfstream, uh, my, for our more critical engagements, uh, we find it important that our relationship with our suppliers is more of a partnership rather than a supplier customer like legal relationship. Uh, we want to be able to uh, interact openly and honestly uh, with a mutual sense of involvement in the project. And realistically, you only can get to that point uh, with a long-term engagement that has demonstrated a successful uh, communications and results over time. Yeah, fully agree with that. Uh, for me, it's also about uh, partnership and collaboration. Uh, I think a long-term relationship typically stimulates a collaborative spirit and, and real commitment. Uh, because for me, what is important that a supplier is still uh, being connected to a company uh, uh, when the results and the consequences of his work become visible in the future. Yeah, we, we, we just started working with Delaware, of course, uh, but I'm sure we will experience some lows uh, that, that happens in every, uh, in every product. But what I do expect is that there will be open dialogue and a true willingness to, to solve issues. Uh, Tom, I think we're on the same page. Uh, so our, our first our first thing is to be realistic and understand that there will be highs and there will be lows. And our, our goal is to capitalize when we have the highs, uh, but to be very quick to react to the lows um, when when, in it, when they occur. And our relationship with Delaware has formed over time, and we rely very, very strongly on open conversations when things are not going well. And I guess the coping part to the question is the ability and the willingness for both parties to quickly identify and then take whatever action to correct course that's necessary. Uh, I guess, I guess, from a golfing point of view, it it, is, it can be very concise. Uh, first, we we value alignment, so we want to make sure that the two parties are fully aligned with what we are trying to achieve. Uh, communications are, are critical. We want to have clear and regular communications. Uh, trust is extremely important, and when it comes to things like our ERP initiatives. We rely on our cust on our, our suppliers to provide truth, what we call thought leadership. Again, there's some overlap there. Yeah. For me, what's really crucial is, is trust, uh, commitments, uh, and, and sharing the same goals. I, I, I guess from a golf train standpoint, the short answer is yes. Um, I actually sat down with Peter, I'm going to guess three years ago at a, at a Sapphire event in Orlando. Um, it was unique and novel. Uh, I think it creates a sense of uh, long pain, long-term success, and the the goal is long-term success and sustainability by Delaware. So it puts faith in Gulfstream that uh, Delaware will, will be around for us in the long term. Yeah, it it certainly adds value. Although I have to be honest, I wasn't aware of this when we selected Delaware as a company last year. Um, so I heard it uh, later on, uh, but I think it yeah, it's it it adds value. Eh? It means they are focusing on the long term. Uh, if you have a change of ownership, it can mean that you will have a different strategy. Uh, so by trying to avoid that, uh, I think it indicates that they're striving co for a con continuity in servicing their customers. But I'd also suspect um, that it creates a degree of a sense of a stability for the Delaware workforce. Yeah, and I think in the end, it's the people that make the service, right? Being the eternal optimist, I guess I see where technology continues to a flat in the world, if you use a Friedman uh, perspective. Uh, but uh, again, being the optimist, I would uh, I would hope that we hit a tipping point uh, where uh, life becomes more simpler instead of more complicated over time. Yeah, that's of course difficult to predict. Um, we are a company that already exists for a very long time. So my hope is that we will still be in business at that moment. Uh, we probably have a different ERP system or something that is completely different from ERP at all. Uh, but my hope is that both our companies will still be in business uh, and that people from Delaware can still enjoy drinking our Royal Leerdam Glasser. That would be nice. Yeah, I'm not sure airplanes will still be around. Maybe it's transporters by then. I'm sure I will be very proud with the successful ERP implementation. Uh, but we just started and uh, uh, so uh, let's go for that. I would have to say that our most successful project has been likely our e-commerce implementation. Uh, we had a great partnership between 
the Delaware uh, company, uh, my business technology organization, and our sales uh, product owner out in the business environment. Uh, great environment, a great user experience for our customers, and we've approximately tripled our over-the-counter spare part sales through the e-commerce platform. <laughs>